from ice to water, from water to ice, from wet to dry, from dry to wet. How do these changes happen? Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of our Scientific Friday! I am Teacher Janelle and I'm on a journey again to understand the different things around us. Are you ready to join me for today's lesson? Come on and let's see how science is everywhere! Today, we are going to learn about phase changes in matter. In this topic, we will discover the following. What causes matter to undergo phase change? What are the different phase changes in matter? And how does matter change its phase? Are you ready to start? Let's go! You already learned that matter has mass and can occupy space. But aside from these characteristics, all matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms and molecules that cannot be seen by the naked eye. Let's take, for example, a paper. Is it a solid, liquid, or gas? It's a solid. That's correct. It has mass and can occupy space, right? It is composed of molecules that are tightly packed together, which gives its shape. How about cooking oil? Is it a solid? liquid or gas it's a liquid that's correct oil is also composed of molecules but unlike the molecules in paper the molecules in oil are slightly away from each other they also move and slide past each other which makes the oil flow how about the air that you breathe. Is it a solid, liquid, or gas? It's a gas. That's correct. Air is composed of molecules that are far away from each other. This is the reason why air is invisible to the naked eye. Did you know that matter can undergo changes? Yes! It is because of temperature. When there is heat, molecules get excited and move fast. However, when there is absence of heat, the molecules move slowly until they become close to each other. These changes in matter are called phase changes. So, what are the different phase changes? Let us start first with the changes that occur because of the presence of heat. Solid to liquid When a solid is exposed to heat, its molecules move faster and farther away from each other. When the molecules become farther from each other, the matter becomes flowy or can now flow. So what did solid matter change into? Liquid, that's correct. This change is called melting. An example of this is when an ice cube melts. From solid ice, it becomes a liquid water. Liquid to gas When a liquid is exposed to heat, its molecules move faster and spread out even farther and may look like it disappeared. This is called evaporation. An example of this is when your wet clothes are exposed to the sun. What do you think happens? 
Yes, it becomes dry because the water changes into its gas form called water vapor. Solid to gas. Not all solid molecules that are exposed to heat turn to liquid. Sometimes a solid's molecules spread too much farther that they disappear or actually turn to gas. This is called sublimation. An example is a mothball. Try putting it in your cabinet and you will notice that it will eventually turn smaller and smaller, then disappear. You're doing great! Can you tell me what phase changes can occur in these examples? First, melting ice cream. Second, using hair blower to dry hair. Third, disappearing car air fresheners. If all your answers are correct, great job! But what about when heat is not present? What's going to happen? Liquid to solid. When a liquid does not get exposed to heat, its molecules move slowly until they become tightly packed. Will it turn to solid or gas? Correct! It will turn into a solid. This is called freezing. An example of this is when you put water in the freezer and after a few hours, the liquid water becomes a solid ice. Gas to liquid. When a gas molecule cools down, its molecules move closer to each other, close enough to form as a liquid. This is called condensation. An example is morning dew. Try looking at the plants early in the morning. Have you noticed that the plants are wet even if you have not watered the plants yet? That is water vapor in the air that turned to liquid. Gas to solid. Oops! Not all gases change to liquid. Sometimes, it changes into solids. This is called deposition. The best example of this is snow. Snow is actually like rain here in the Philippines. They both come from water vapor. But because of colder air temperature in other countries, the water vapor forms into a crystal-like droplets called deposits. There you have it! Now, try this. Can you tell me again what phase changes can occur in these examples when heat is not present? First, freezing juice. Second, fog. And third, dry ice. Did you get everything right? Great! I hope you learned a lot today and apply these learnings in your daily lives. Join me again for our next Scientific Friday. And together, let us discover things around us because... Science is everywhere! This has been Teacher Janelle for Teacher Vivav. Goodbye everyone!